Hey there, one way to make your Instagram post a bit more interesting and maybe even get a bit more engagement is to add multiple photos and create that kind of carousel look where you've got separate different photos and you can just scroll through them. But what you can actually do is take one photo and split that up into multiple individual images, post that on Instagram, and it creates the kind of effect of scrolling through a panoramic image. So this can create quite a cool effect and it's just something to make your Instagram feed a bit different and spice things up a bit. So I've seen lots of complicated ways of doing this. In this video, I'm going to share you a really really simple way of doing it in Photoshop that doesn't require any maths and it's just a really simple and easy workflow. So let's head into the computer and I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing you want to do is load up a photo in Photoshop. I've just got this landscape photo here and you want to come across to the crop tool and notice at the top here you can actually type in numbers. If I type in one by one that's going to give us a square crop. So what you want to do is leave this second number as one and then in this first box type in the number of individual images you want to upload to Instagram. So for example, if you wanted someone to scroll through three individual panes of a panorama on your Instagram post, you'd set this to three. If you want them to scroll through four posts that make up one image, set this to four. I probably wouldn't go more than four as it might get a bit boring if you've got to scroll through 10 images. And also the higher the number you make this, the narrower the overall image is gonna be. So if I set this back to three, watch what happens. Notice that the image gets a bit taller. So you can fit a bit more in the overall image that you're presenting. So I'm going to leave this as three, that will give us three individual panels and then you can just move this up and down and find where you want to crop the image. I'm just going to leave it there for now, just click that tick box to confirm it. So now we've got an image that's three times as wide as it is high or three by one. What we want to do now is chop up this image into three individual square images so we can upload them to Instagram. The super easy and quick way to do this is to come over here, hold down the left mouse button on this crop tool and you want to go and choose slice select tool. I'm just going to click that. Notice at the top of this we get this little number and what you want to do is right click on this little icon here and come down to divide slice. Just click on that and you can choose whether you want to divide horizontally or vertically. What we want to do is tick this divide vertically into and then in this top box here you want to specify the same number as you used when you specified the crop. So if you did a three by one crop you'd select three here and if you did a four by one crop you'd select four here. Because we cropped the original image in a three by one crop, we'll leave this as three and just click OK. Now you can see that Photoshop is marked out three equal sized slices. Each one of these slices will be a one by one aspect ratio or square. All we need to do now is export each of these slices separately, but we don't have to do this one by one. What we can do is come up to the file menu, come down to export, and you wanna choose this save for web legacy option. And you can come down here and choose from this zoom drop down. You can choose fit in view. And now you can see once again, the three different slices that we created. This is basically telling us that we can save three individual images here. You can choose the quality that you want to export at and the key thing here is once you've chosen your export settings come down to the save button here and make sure that this drop down box here is set to all slices. I'm just going to choose where I want these to be exported so I'm in this photos folder here and I'm just going to click save. Just let Photoshop do its thing and if I open up that photos folder notice that Photoshop has created this images subfolder. If I double click that you can see that Photoshop has automatically saved each of those slices as a separate image. So you could just go and upload those to Instagram and create a nice scrolling panorama carousel but one nice little touch that you can also do is if you come back to Photoshop here come back to the crop tool select a one by one crop and then you just want to expand out the left and right sections here until you can see the entire thing in the middle, just click the tick box. We don't need to see these slices anymore, so just come up to the view menu, come down to show, and then untick slices. And if you forgot to set a color, you can hit G to go to the paintbrush and just fill in this top with either white or black, whatever you think looks best. What we're gonna do is add this at the end of the carousel just so the viewer can see the entire image. So you can just do a basic export of this image. And when we export this, it's gonna create a one by one image. I'm gonna save it inside that images folder just so we've got everything in one place and we'll just export that. Now we've got everything we need to create our Instagram post. All you've got to do now is copy these images to your phone however you wanna do that, maybe using AirDrop or Dropbox and then use the Instagram app to post them or you could also post them using the desktop web version of Instagram. So for example if we posted this using the desktop version, by the way if you want to check me out on Instagram I'm at Jason the Roberts. What we'll do is we'll just click add and then we'll select those files and you can see here this is actually in the wrong order. So you can always go back start again. So let's start by adding the first three images. Is that in the right order? Yep. Make sure it's the original scale. 
and then at the end just click the plus button here and we'll choose that final image. So now when someone sees this post they're going to see this and they can scroll across the panorama and then if they keep scrolling they'll get the final image. And then just do all the usual Instagram stuff and hit share. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm Jason Roberts and I'll see you in the next one.